I can't believe I've seen Greg Paul's dick though. This is just... This is not how I thought my day would start. Greg Paul, you've been a very naughty boy. Last but certainly not least. No, 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 we're not talking about that incident which Greg Paul is famous for. Now there's another incident regarding Greg Paul and uh, let's just say, I'm not surprised you creepy motherfucker. Greg Paul got hacked by these hackers at E underscore Lords on Twitter, also known as Digital Gangsters. They've hacked everything to do with Greg Paul and they have probably got him by the balls right now. They've got Greg Paul by the motherfucking balls. So they hacked Greg Paul's account and before anything got released, Greg Paul tried to be so smooth, tried to be so slick and uh, offer these guys a job. Yo, what's happening folks? GP coming at you. All right, so a lot of you guys know that I was hacked. By the way, this hacker dude is something else, man. He is crazy smart. I learned a lot from him. Um, you know, hacking is actually an adult way of bullying. And, uh, you know, I don't know why the guy does it because he doesn't get any re real recognition for it. Uh, he's not really messing up my life that bad because my life, my, my, I'm just not that important. But, um... <laughs> I learned a lot from him. I learned about some ways to prevent hacking and all this stuff. But, dude, if you're out there, I want you to reach out to me. The guy still has my AOL account. Give back my AOL account. Include your information there because I want to hire you. We can use your smarts and, and your skill set in a positive way and probably make you a shit ton of legit money. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys are having a great weekend. And uh, GP's out. You can smell the fear and desperation just from this one video. And you can see it in his eyes. He is shitting himself. Crazy smart. He's not really messing up my life that bad because my life, my, my, I'm just not that important. Oh, you just wait. Dude, if you're out there, I want you to reach out to me. The guy still has my AOL account. Give back my AOL account. Include your information there because I want to hire you. We can use your smarts and, and your skill set in a positive way and probably make you a shit ton of legit money. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys are having a great weekend. And uh, GP's out. So, as you can see, he really wants his AOL account back. Oh, he really wants that one back because that's where all the uh, juicy shit, the naughty stuff, bad boy. Greg Poole's been a bad, bad boy, and it's time for Daddy Cavos with his big English balls. That's right, Greg Poole, get a good look at these bad boys. Time to give him a, uh, a little spanking. Only kidding, he'd probably fucking like that. Now this shit, watching it makes me feel sick. The hackers released Greg Poole's sex tape. Now I can't show you the sex tape, but I can definitely play you some of the noises. You ready to come again? You come again. Greg Paul's gonna make you come again, girl. So I can't actually show you the video, but you can definitely tell it's him, his voice. I to clean out the screen. The camera head. All kinds of fluid out of it. You jizzing all over. <coughs> well, I just had McDonald's, man. Come on. I literally just ate some McDonald's. How am I gonna be looking at Greg Paul fucking finger banging and using the old finger blast 9000 on a... A very young girl. It's definitely a younger girl than him. It's just disgusting. You can see him in one of the videos. You can even see his scruff, his beard, as every normal person does. He films himself licking out this girl, whose age is unknown, by the way. We can't confirm her age. If you want to throw up and see the sex tape, the hacker's Twitter has it at e underscore lords. I don't advise this, but I know curiosity gets the better of people. If what I've just said isn't proof enough that it's actually Greg Paul and his sex tapes, and a hundred percent is, you can tell. By the way he's talking, exactly the same. The hackers actually showed the email where one of the sex tapes was. And it's clearly Greg Poole's email. This is his AOL account. One of, there's the attached file. This shit doesn't stop here because we don't know how old this girl is that he's fucking in this video. However, she looks very young just from her body. It doesn't look an old body. It's not an old wrinkly. It's pretty young, fresh, <laughs> ready to go. Could be younger. and I could suddenly be in possession of child porn. I could go to prison. Thank you very much, Greg Paul. You fuck. But the hackers are claiming that Greg Paul has underage girls' photos or has something to do with underage girls through this email. They tweeted, at FBI, please contact us regarding Greg Paul. We would like to submit evidence involving a case of paedophilia. Now, I don't know what evidence they have and God, I don't want to fucking know. Could this clip alone be used for evidence? Clearly, there is something up. The hackers said they had dirt on him, they released dirt, they've told the truth so far, so 
I'm not sure there could be some credibility behind this claim. I don't condone hacking and like getting into people's private information, but if Greg Paul is actually a paedophile and these hackers expose that, I'm sorry, I have no problem with it. If he's actually a paedophile, which I'm not saying he is, but he should be exposed because he deals with a business that deals with a shit ton of kids. I can't believe I've seen Greg Paul's dick though. This is just, this is not how I thought my day would start. I'm gonna have nightmares. You ready to come again? No, Greg, don't touch me. But this isn't the only bad thing for the pools. Jake Paul now has been exposed for cheating or trying to cheat on Erica, his baby. I'm sorry, I just got lost looking at Jake Paul's nipples. They are so fucking big. Anyway, regarding this, on the 9th of September 2018, Jake Paul DM'd this British model saying, yo, babe, you can see the date at the top, 9th of September. British model is obviously hot. You can tell Jake's sliding in the DMs, asking her to come and hang out with the crew sometime, saying that he wants to fly her out to Miami and that he's super spontaneous, so uh, let's do it. Literally, this was all a few days ago, but Erica was his girlfriend, and Jake's sliding into other girls' DMs. Obviously, Jake's fans were having none of it. They love, they love Jerrica. They're buying that sweet Jerrica merch. Let's just read some of these dumb fucks' replies. Her happiness is Jake. He didn't cheat. Have you ever heard of an Instagram DM app? Wow, you're seriously an eight-year-old child if you think this is real. The whole Jake Paul thing is totally fake. That clout-chasing girl installed an app which can make fake DMs, and she started to make those texts in the month of September. But she said Jake asked her to come over and hang out with him randomly when he's in Greece with his lover, Erica. Thank God this Instagram model had some sense, and she actually recorded herself going through the DMs to prove they're real. Seeing as everyone thinks this is fake, Jake Paul... Boom, and then if I click on his profile, oh, oh, who the fuck that is? Fuck's sake! Ah! And if I click on Jake's profile. So Jake Paul has also been a bad, bad boy. A lot of sexual tension up in the air this episode. Holy fuck. Greg Paul getting his rocks off. You ready to come again? Jake Paul trying to cheat on his girlfriend. Something runs in the family. But in all seriousness, I don't really give a fuck if Jake Paul cheats on Snake Bitch. I just thought it was funny how you got Greg Paul doing the dirty. Jake Paul's doing the dirty. Hey, Logan, where you at? It's time for you to do the dirty, man. Come on. Trifecta. Be a... Sexual trifecta of the pools. This whole paedophile claim and allegations are up in the air now. I'm very interested in what's gonna happen next. I mean, him begging for his AOL account and then the hackers exposing all this shit. You have to think there's some real bad dirt in there because sex tape, okay, it's a sex tape, it's embarrassing for him, but it's not criminal. However, him offering them a shit ton of money, I think there's a bit of dirt there for Greg Paul. I think Gregory here is a, he's a little bit uh, fucked. The hackers smelt right through his bullshit, which Applause to that, they could have easily tried taking money. If they have actual evidence he is a paedophile, then I'm all for outing that. But anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Shout out to these guys on my YouTube comment section. They commented my last video super quick. Obviously, they have notification bell turned on, so appreciate you guys so much. If you want to be featured in next week's one, just comment as soon as you can on my newer video. And I screenshot about five to eight people, and I'm going to put them on the end of every video. Notification gang, obviously super appreciate as my sub boxes, as shown by my community tab, are fucked. Over 50% of my subs did not get my last video. Thank you, YouTube. This just proves that if you love a YouTube and you want to catch all their videos, you just have to turn the notification bell on. So if you would do that, it'd be amazing. Please subscribe if you're new. My Instagram is Pierce underscore Cav. My Twitter is at CavosYT. I'm following some of you guys back who follow them right now. Follow my social medias. Tell me you've come for my video. I will try and follow you guys. I've also got an exciting announcement that we've got a brand new live streaming show coming out in about, in a few weeks time, it's going to be every Sunday and you guys are going to be heavily involved in it. It's going to be called Make or Break. Now decide what you think it will be about in your head. 
But I've put a lot of work and a lot of money into this and I'm really excited to do this and give you guys some live streaming content. I think this will be a great show, lots going on and I hope you guys are excited for it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and until next time, you ready to come again? fuck off. <laughs> I gotta have somebody over 35.